Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ranger Pap here once again. Um, welcome back to uh, talk, the Reclaimer talking about it. Um, like you just saw in the other, like you just saw in the other video, it was only two minutes. I know I ran out of you know space to put the screenshots, so you know <laughs> it was kind of a bust there. I know, um, but um, this is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing, the thing is, sorry, the thing is, I want to talk about is. Uh, on the machinima, who, what, what's it about? Who the characters? You know, so I get a familiar about them. But the things with each character, they will reveal their own stories and you know livelihood and all their you know the backgrounds in the reclaimer itself. But all I'm doing is just giving a brief, just a brief, you know, what we're gonna say, you know, it's you know a, a brief thing, you know. That's 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 you know a brief thing about the reclaimer. So, a lot you know a lot of people saw in the first tra in the first trailer I made. Okay, people, you need to stop you know bitching about it. I know there's no voices. Just you know I can't have people come in on a certain day just to do a mission, just to do a stupid trailer. I'm make I'm in progress of making another one. So the, the next one, <laughs> fucking hair is like screwed up. Shit. Yeah. So when then. You know, when the next, um, when the next, uh, um, when I come, I'm in the progress of making one, so, you know, um, yeah, so, I'm still making the second trailer. The second trailer is not gonna, because one guy, Bob Subby Heart 99, he was going to be in it, but, you know, he wasn't mature enough to do it, and he turned out to be a real dick, because he didn't respect me as a friend. And I didn't respect him back because, look, I didn't respect him because he wasn't respecting me. He fucked up a lot of. The, there was a lot of shots in when I was in the middle of recording. I had to restart the whole fucking thing because he screwed up so much. He called an ordinance. There was so much problems with it. He didn't listen. Sometimes he would always fuck around all the time. He would shoot and kill for no freaking reason. So I kicked him out. He's not a good. He wasn't a good friend after all. So I kicked him off our friends list, and I don't give a shit about him. I really don't. You might see, oh, I'm a bad person. No, I'm not. He, he, he wasn't. He was being a real douche to me. So I'm not even going to comply to you know have him you know you know ha you know have you know do that stupid shit to me because you know you know he thinks it's funny you know to you know to kill to kill someone where I'm in the middle of recording you know something that I care about. Because you know, a lot of, some people when they make machine of us, you know, they you know they probably care about it, so, you know, probably have dreams about it. But you know, and you know, if someone crushes their dream, you're obviously gonna be real pissed off. So if you have a guy, you know, if you want to make a machinima, make a freaking machinima. It doesn't, I, it it doesn't matter if you know, it doesn't matter, if, you know, how many guys you want or. You think it, you know, someone else thinks it's gonna crash? Cause that's what, that's what Bob Stuffy 199 thinks. You think it's gonna crash? Bullshit. I don't give a shit about the fucking reviewers. I mean, you know, I don't, not the reviewers, I mean, I'm not, I'm saying I don't give a shit about you guys. But, you know, I don't give a shit how many views I get, or how many subscribers I get, or how many likes or dislikes I get, or comments. I don't give a shit. The only thing I care about is doing it, cause I wanna do it, and we wanna have fun. We want to do it our way, and you know the the people who are the the Spartan, Yeah, we this is a Spawn Alliance Clan production, and I am the leader of the Spawn Clan Alliance, uh, Spawn Alliance Clan since Halo Two. Believe it or not, since Halo Two, because I played Halo Two online and offline, and you know that was my clan. That was my you no, know, that was my clan in Halo Two, so. Yeah, it's been a, there for a long time, so people just say, "Oh no, it's just random bullshit." You know, where you know this, you just made this clan up out of nowhere. I thought the clan says Halo too, so people who would think wrong, I don't care. I don't, I don't. I just don't care. I really don't, because tonight is not the night. It's three o'clock in the morning. I should be asleep by now, but I can't sleep because you know I I don't sleep that well. I don't get that much sleep. So you know that's you know that's a bit of a problem. You know I just I like staying up late because you know I'm I do I'm more awake at night and I usually more a day. But you know the new guy that we got for the machinima and he's a real good friend of mine and I am thankful that 
I got him interested in it, and he nailed his part. Like, unfucking believable He just, boom, right to it. Snapped right into it. And, you know, the thing with my other machine, the thing with some other machine of us, you know, they, you know, they write scripts. You know, they want people, you know, they want people to say certain things. But with this, you know, this was all different. This saves me time, you know, the only time I have write a script if I, you know, if I want someone to say a specific thing. But, everyone, you know, if you have something to say, you know, that's related, you know, you can, you know, that goes, you know, smoothly along with the, uh, the episode, say it. That's what they do. They say, and he nailed it. He went right along with it, formed right into it, and that's what all my other, that's what all the other guys did, and they nailed it. The other guy, he did, he did it pretty well, but he, you know, he messed up on purpose. You know, like sometimes he messed up on accident the first time we were doing this, but you know, the neck, the last, the last few times, he just did it on purpose, and I'm like, dude, shut up. Can we do this? Because you know. I don't want to say because you know I'm running because you know he was he made fun of me a lot and I don't give a shit if he makes fun of me because a lot of, you know if you had if any other machinima makers out there who had who had people say who would you know if you had a dream about doing a machinima you know it's your dream it's your dream and no one should have to you know sh no one should have to make fun of it and you no know, crush your dream if you want to do it you want to do it okay so just tell <laughs> him to go fuck off. They're not. They're not doing anything. The only thing they're gonna do is fucking play games all the time. They don't even bother to do it. A lot of pe I love other machinimas. I mean, all the other machinimas I've watched, I love it. They did really good jobs on it. So, you know, yeah, yeah. So you know, oh yeah, that dragon out there. That's a little. That's a little present for my little. That's that's a little present for my younger family members. So. When he comes in here, I'm gonna he's gonna I'm gonna surprise him with it. He's gonna be like, ah you know. He's gonna be happy, you know. You know yeah, I gave him to him. You know, I'm giving that to him, so so you know, he'll be you know, he'll be very happy. You know, and once he goes, he'll be like, Oh my god, it's a dragon, cool, ah. oh, it's so cool, you know, I mean, you know, you know, you know, you know, he's little, you know. I have a little you know, younger family member. Um yeah, so yeah, I'll be giving it, you know, as a little you know, a little present. You know, a little present for an from an uncle, so it's not like I'm gonna give him my Xbox. I'm like, ah, no. Even though if I have two Xboxes, the sixties, uh, two, two Xbox three sixties, one of them does not have the network chip because during a lightning storm, um, I go, I turn, I you know, I go downstairs to get a drink one second, and I turn up, I go right back upstairs, bang, huge, f the loudest freaking bang I've ever heard in my life scared the shit of me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden my internet get not my internet gets knocked off. And then when I took it to the computer store to f see what the hell was wrong with it, the network chip fried. So it can't replace that specific chip. I gotta replace a whole motherboard. So that's gonna cost me, you know, probably about like three hundred bucks. Where I was saying, no fuck it. I can buy another Xbox that's refurbished for hundred twenty that it, you know I use for Furbish Xbox for 120. I don't care. I'm buying that way cheaper, way cheaper. And I have you know I have all the 12 month subscription gold inside. I have a new controller, headset, all the wiring. I don't care. So I'm not spending 300 bucks over a new e get a new motherboard, which has gonna take freaking weeks to repair. Where I can go to the store, spend a spend you know spend a two hour you know spend an hour at a, at the you know the electronic store, the, at the mall, getting a new Xbox for 120 bucks. Right there, dead and done. Simple. Yes? No. No, whatever. Yeah, alright, so, yeah, I went a little bit off track. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, I, I had to end up with a relationship with him. I, I, I didn't want to handle with this bullshit, so, alright, so, enough with that. I put 90 minutes into that, so. <sighs> okay, alright, so, the reclaimer. Yes, it's a, it's a, oh, quick thing. The guy bops up your heart on a nine. If he says anything to you, or any anything in the comments, or anything in the episodes, or any of the trailers I have, don't believe his bullshit. He runs so much bullshit. He says my machine is not gonna get anywhere. He doesn't make a machine because all the fuck he does is play stupid Minecraft on his computer. I know a lot of people might like Minecraft on the computer, but he plays it on his little tablet, and he makes videos which you know I don't freaking care. You know that he's gonna make fun of me. 
you know, just because, you know, he's saying I'm a dick, I'm a no-life, I don't care. I have a life, I do paintball, I babysit, I do whatever the fuck I want. So, <laughs> fuck him. So, yeah, for, uh, so yeah, so the Machinima, this is a Spawn Clan Alliance, this is, you know, the first ever Machinima I'm going to make, um, so yeah, so, about it, so let's get, you know, about it. So, this is one year after the Halo event. And obviously, you will see this later in the first episode. It's gonna say, you know, it's an introduction to the whole, you know, first season. I'm doing, you know, just a whole introduction, you know, first season. Yeah. yeah so, um, hold on a second. Yeah. Not now. Huh? Oh, yeah. 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 My dad was talking to me. I'm going to sleep. I'm like, I don't fucking care. I don't want to sleep. I don't. Frankly, I don't want to sleep. And my camera is being a retard. Well, camera, that's what you get. Mess up like that, and now you get the horns. You just got the horns, camera. And it's still doing it. Buzzing out like that. Buzzing out like that. There we go. And it's still buzzing out. Still buzzing out. Okay, better. better. Yes, yes. So, yeah, yeah. As I was saying, yeah, the yeah, the mission, you know, the reclaimer is all. You know, it's about a, uh, um, you know, this, uh, you know, one Spartan who who has a very very troubled past, um, who has to, who uh, uh, you know gets called upon this uh, Agent Four an artifact that's you know, you know. I'm not gonna say much about the reclaimer, you know, who he is. It's not just one life, you know, once in a lifetime. It's a whole, you know, you know, separate life, you know, from like years before there was another reclaimer, and years before another one, another one, and another one. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he has, yeah, he becomes the next reclaim. Marcus Carmine becomes the next reclaim, a uh, little next reclaimer, because uh, the sword only picks its next reclaimer. So the reclaimer, his, you know, I'm not saying anything about him, you know, and he doesn't know when he picks up the sword, when he becomes a reclaimer, he doesn't know what he has to do. The only thing he has, the only thing he knows is to keep it out of enemy, you know, out of the wrong hands. So yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, Marcus Kama has to embark on this, you know, complete journey. He has to, you know, figure out himself. He has to save his friends and his family in order to, uh, um, you know become who he is and save humanity from utter destruction, you know, from a war or government collapse, you know, anything that would, you know, destroy humanity within himself. So, you know, e even if, a, you know, complete sorrow, if uh, all the planets, you know, even if Earth, Earth died, he would have to figure out a way to save Earth, which I have no idea, even though how could he? I don't know, I have to think some of that later, but yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, he... Yeah, he has to bark on that journey, and he, in the first season, you're not going to see him as a reclaimer, you know, bring out who he is. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a whole introduction on the characters and, uh, you know, who they are, you know, just who they are, and, you know, just basic the life of, you know, what's it like to live on the base that they're currently deployed at. So, you know, it's just life on the base, you know. But later in other seasons, it will explain a lot more stuff about bring more of the characters out, the more self being, um, and uh, you know more about the you know learn about more of the reclaimers, and uh, a lot more you know stuff about him and his job to be as a reclaimer. So that will the other season will just be more and a lot hit yeah. So that's that for that for the, you know about it. My background of Reclaim. So let's get to move on to the characters. All right, the characters. Um, the first character that it is is, he, is obviously the, the Reclaimer, Marcus Carmine. He his character in the first in the all the seasons you're gonna basically see him seeking for vengeance because back in his past he has a very very troubled past and the next and a few seasons later you're gonna see him you know you're gonna see a lot flashbacks about his past. Um, a lot of you know talking about his past in the first season. He's gonna be talking about it a lot. Um, so yeah, 
yeah, he's, you know, he's very, you know, he always wants to seek revenge and vengeance all the time on the UMC, which is a faction. I'll get to that a little bit. I'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, he, uh, right now, he is a lieutenant for fighting for the UNSC. He has a, he, he's commanding of a squad called Bravo 2-0 out of a hollow base. He's got his, he's got his four, he's got his three friends, he's got his three squad members with him. Uh, you got Private Ryan Coulson, you got Sergeant Mike D, uh, Sergeant Mike Shadows and Corporal Alex Detron. So those are the four characters you know, that are fighting that are at his base right now. Um, you know, one, you know, I like to, I liked Ragnarok's, you know, I thought it would be, you know, nice to bring, you know, because no one, you know, no one really uses a base. And the only time when people make a base is, you know, they go on Impact or, you know, they go on Forge Island, you know, or they go on the other base where there's an actual base, you know, but Valhalla base, you know, would seem, you know, a nice suitable area, and I like it because, you know, it brings memories back from Halo 3, a lot of memory back, uh, memories back from Halo 3 because a few weeks ago I was playing Halo 3 with a few friends, I was doing some online with the, I was just some online. There's still a lot of people playing online for Halo 3, so brought a lot of you know, back memories. You know, it's not the same as a you know. I don't like the way they change the name. So the name of my base is not Ragnarok Base. It's Valhalla Base. I brought back the name because it brings back so much memories, and a lot of people are gonna be like, "Ah, oh, memories, good." Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So Marcus Carmine. Um, yeah, he's he's a very good earner. Um, you know, he gets the job done. But you know, don't you know if you get off on his wrong, you know, on the wrong, if you don't get the, if you're not on the wrong page, the right page with him, it's not going to turn out well for you. It's not, you know, you know, no. Yeah, but you know, he, you know, he's a he's a very very good leader. He, you know, he leads his men with courage, heart, and you know, brains, bravery. He he does exemplary. But you know he's not as you know he doesn't exempl uh, exemplify himself as Master Chief does. Cause Master Chief is just way badass than him any day. You can't make a character more badass than Master Chief. You cannot. If you do, you're fucking stupid. No one's better than Master Chief. Captain Price from Call of Duty. Eh, I don't really care about him. If any people, you know, they made a lot of, you know, pictures and, you know, uh, videos about, you know, your Master Chief versus, uh, you know, all these other people. But really, Master Chief would win in the end because he's more unique, he's smarter, and he's just more, you know, he's, he feels more human every day. Because when he first started, this is, you know, for some people, this is a history lesson about Master Chief. When he first started becoming, you know, a Spartan, he wa he wasn't feeling you know human as much. He felt more as a ro you know like a robot, you know like, you know like a cyborg. He was feeling more like that. But after he met Cortana, you would you know you were seeing you know more of his towards his human side. And eventually, you know he Cortana and uh, um, Cortana and Master Chief, um, you know were saying who is the real machine, Cortana or Chief. But but Chief, well, what Captain Lasky said to him was, you know, soldiers aren't machines, they're just people. But he always wondered, is Cortana the real machine? And, you know, could he actually, you know, live without her, with that, you know, you know, like a, you know, a person would, or with her, you know, like a normal person would. So, you know, the I there's a big ironic scene between them, especially with Cortana. There's a big irony scene with Cortana fighting to be to feel like what it's be to more human. So I'm just throwing, I'm just getting off track. That's a little history lesson about Halo f for people you know who don't know you know who don't know Halo about much don't know Halo that much. So and so getting back, yeah. So Marcus, you know he you know that's all I said about Marcus. You know you know he you know he's a good he's a great leader. Everyone respects him. You know he knows what he has to do. He knows his job. He gets it done right there, dead and done. So yeah, anyone who gets in his way, you know, you know. Sorry, my hair's a little messed up. I haven't brought, you know, I got it unbrushed. So just like, yeah. So mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's that. But uh, um, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the next character in line is you know for the fr you know when you see it up is Corporal Alex Detron. Alex Detron, he's a very loyal character. Very very loyal. He gets it. He, you know he's a good earner. He's very loyal. You know you know he's just you know loyal. He follows orders. So uh, yeah. You know, he's a good he's a very very good shot on a sniper rifle and you know sniper rifle he's a very good marksman so you know that you know that's something there um uh yeah yeah so the next person is a uh, sergeant mike shadows he he is a very 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 good earner he fo he follows orders um he will kill anyone with extreme prejudice because he has a very very short temper a very short temper so if you piss him off you're fucking dead so yeah any you know you know he is main two weapons is a shotgun and you know gravity hammer you know he will go complete utter badass you know, with both weapons at the same time or just you know straight up shotgun or anything you know he's just uh fuck up fuck up still get a little tired a little bit yeah yeah but yeah, he, you know, he, don't mess with him, because he will freaking, he will kill you. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it for about it. So the next person in line is Jessica Carmine. Jessica Carmine is Marcus's sister, obviously. There's three members to the Carmine family. You have Marcus, which is the oldest one, um, Jessica, who is the second youngest, and then you have David Carmine, who is the youngest of the family. Something bad happened to David, you know, something bad happened to all the other, all the family members in the past, so I'm not saying any spoilers until season two. Um, yes, yes, so yes, it was Jessica Carmen, you know, she was fed of wrong information by the UMC. Um, so I'll get to that a little bit later. Yes, so she was fed of wrong information about, you know, what happened in the past. So she comes to retrieve the sword. She went to go to retrieve the sword. She obviously didn't. She joined Marcus. She knew the truth, and you know she, you know her character is a, you know, she's you know just you know she's very badass, you know she's so she's a very very bad, you know she's very very badass, um not as bad as my guy because Marcus his character would always be David and Jesse because Marcus would always come out on top because you know Marcus was always better at everything he did everything on you know he was smarter, passed school easy you know. Uh, you know he, you know he was, you know, more, better than any than any, any other. But you know, but yeah, Jesse tries, to, you know, always competes to see who's better. But uh, you know, Jesse always ends up losing because you know she's not as smart, you know, as not that you know swift as Marcus is. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, it's kind of you know brother sister com uh, being competitive there. Yeah, so yeah, so just you know she uh, she finds some carrots she finds some people really hard to trust. Especially what happened to her, and you know the whole family. What happened back to that? Um, you know, she found really hard. A lot of people hard to trust. You know, she's a very, you know, she's very outgoing, but she also has a short temper. You know, at the time she doesn't like to be called Jessica. She likes to be called Jessie. So you know, if you call her Jessica, it's not gonna. She'll she'll tell you shut the fuck up. Don't fucking call me that. I'm warning you. Sit the fuck away from me. You know, you know, especially you know, if, you know, she doesn't flirt much with guys. She doesn't at all, but uh, yeah. So that's Jesse's character. For um, my friend Hack Synthesis, who's uh, taking over Bob Sapiard's part, um, he's playing as pri uh, PVT uh, uh, Private Ryan Colson and uh, Agent Torres. Uh, Private Ryan Colson, he's you know he's a very you know quiet guy. You know he's very shy. You know, but he's a good owner. He gets the job done. You know he get you know he gets you know he's a very very curious character. He. Sure, you know he he very wonders, you know, a lot. He wonders a lot. You know, you know he you know he is very curious about anything. You know, wonders, you know, what's next. You know, what what happen later. You know, what would be life like this or something like this. You know, he was a very young character. Something he also had a troubled past that caused him and Marcus to have you know kind of same similar situations but you know you know not entirely same similar but they know what each other's going through um yeah so yeah so yeah he you know he's a very quiet character like i said um he gets the job done so the next the last character the next character moving on to is uh um 
as uh, Agent Torres. Agent Torres works for the UMC. He, you know, he's a very he gets nosy. You know, he does get the job done, but he's very nosy. He gets in other people's face and other people's business where he shouldn't be. Um, you know, you know, you know, he, th you know, he says, you know, he got, he can handle it on his own. He, you know, he's a big badass. He can do everything himself, but in reality, he can't. He doesn't realize that he needs help, you know, doing it himself. But uh, you know, you know, that's for that. But um, yeah. All right. So now let's go with the factions. So you obviously know the UNSC. The United Nations Space Command, you obviously know them from Halo. You obviously know the Covenant, the Prometheans, you're obviously going to see them all. The, U, the UMC, the United Mercenary Corps, they are a very strict mercenary government group. They lie to young recruits who just came out of boot camp or military academy to join them thinking, you know, they're they're part of the UNSC, you know, uh, you know, you know, we're just a different part of the UNSC, but really they're not, and then they teach them all these, you know, really, you know, really false info about, you know, the UNSC, and how, you know, how they plan to take over us, you know, they're so bad, you know, kill them all, you know, you know, really strict, the people that, you know, the thing is, if you don't complete your mission, what, you know, this is the thing with agents and recruits, they, if you don't complete, if any agent doesn't complete their mission, or any recruits that don't complete their mission, there's a UMC assassin watching over them, and the agents and the recruits don't know they don't know they're there. They don't at all. They have no freaking clue at all. So you know, if they don't complete the mission, boom, they're dead. And they'll say, oh, they died in combat. Oh, what'd they do? No, they don't care. And they'll have to break the bad news to their families if they did have families. But yeah, the UMC sat, the UMC assassins, you know, they're just they sent to watch over them. To make sure they do it, to make sure they do the job done and right. Very strict, you know. They're, you know they're you know they're expendable. They're very very expendable. The recruits and agents. Some agents, you know, you know, will not be watched. It depends on how good they are and how trustful they are. And but the officers and assassins will not be killed. Will not be killed because they know they're way better than that. They know way better that they're better than everyone else. You know they're very, you know they're kind of dickheads, all of them. Yeah, so yeah, the Cole Carmichael family used to work for them. Something bad would happen, so Marcus left, went for the UNSC, and now Jesse's with the UNSC with him. The reason why David is not with him, which I'm not going to say that, which in the next season it's going to explain all that, uh, you know what happened with, with the UNS with the UMC. So yeah, um, yeah, so that's that's for that. Um, no, I don't really know what to say. Also about the UNC, the UMC. So, you know, like I said before, you know, all the characters who they are, you know, you know, everyone, the the you know, the guy, the first guy I uh, you know who went to the place, he nailed his part, and I'm glad he joined with us. And I'm actually gonna, gonna his he has a YouTube channel also. Um, I'm gonna you know write this in. His name is uh, Mr. Ma 100. Subscribe to him. Yeah, subscribe to him, and also subscribe to me. You know, if you, you know, maybe if you're not, you don't subscribe. You know, don't subscribe. You know, you know. Well, anyone, please subscribe and like the video. You know, um, after every ep after yeah, after every season, I'll you know, I'll give more information about it, more and more information out. But I'm not going to be complete spoilers. All I'm doing is just you know, giving just small talk, small talk, and small talk, small talk. That may have been a lot of information now, but all that is just vaguely background information. The real information they're gonna give out themselves and tell themselves, you know, who they are, what they're doing here, what's their job and, you know, what they have to do to accomplish anything. So that they're gonna show them themselves in the episodes. So that's that's something you guys are gonna to wanna to keep up, you know, keep tabs on. So yes, stay tuned. I mean, yeah. Stay tuned for uh, for another. I'm gonna be posting up the other Let's Play for Mercenaries 2. I gotta finish it up. You know, I gotta finish up the campaign. So don't watch me on that. I will finish it up. Don't worry, guys. I will finish it up. Um, yeah. So that's for that. Um, there's nothing else I can say. If you have any questions about the Machinima, or you know, any questions about the Machinima at all, um, leave your comments in the video saying, you know, at all if you have you know any you know comments of you know comments about it, questions and uh um I'll make another video uh, if and, and any comments I get I'll make a video on it um uh, answering those questions, alright? 
So, uh, so long, YouTube viewers.